Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install an EFI Velocity Stack on the Honda Shadow Fan. So as you can see here, we've already removed the gas tank and the seat from the bike. I've skipped showing you how to do that because it's pretty straightforward and very basic. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the air box. You're going to need a 4mm Allen. I have a Allen on my driver here to make things faster. So when you remove this uh, air filter cover, the actual air filter itself is going to come out as well. So you don't need these, you can set all that aside. Next thing we're going to do is to remove the rest of this air filter housing. We're going to pull these two bolts out, one on the left, one on the right side. They are 8 millimeters, so we're going to get an 8 millimeter socket and pull those out. Each one has a little washer on it. Make sure you don't drop that somewhere in your motor. All right, now we're going to go up top and we're going to release the rubber boot from the throttle body and we're going to take off some hoses on the back side of this intake. The next step here is going to be to loosen the band around the rubber boot that connects to the throttle body. There's a little Phillips screw here. You're going to loosen this up and after that, you're going to want to take this hose off of the air filter housing. This is your crankcase breather line. You're going to leave this open. Easiest thing to do with this hose is just to tuck it right back here. Done. Now this whole housing can come off. So once we have the housing off, there's a hose at the very bottom here, and all you're going to do is undo this little pinch clamp and pull the hose off. There you go. And this is trash. So now we're going to come over to the other side of the bike, and you're going to find all this garbage. It's super stupid. You don't need it. This is your pear solenoid, and this is part of the EPA crap that goes with the bike. Now we're going to unplug this little guy, push the little knob down there, comes out, and we're going to remove this rubber strap from this mount. Slides the whole pair of solenoid off, and now it's free. Next thing you're going to do is remove these hoses, this one and this one. They are both plugged into a reed valve like this. I'm going to show you on the rear one because the forward one's very hard to get to and not easy to film. Release this little clamp here, going to slide it up the hose. And I have these pliers that are specifically meant for pulling hose off of nipples. Uh, if you don't have these, you can use screwdriver, you can use needle nose pliers, you can pull on the hose itself, but I'm going to use these for this situation. There we go. Now, once you release that and the forward uh, hose, you can pull this whole assembly off. You're going to need to release it from here, and it all comes out. And that's what's going to come out of your bike. Next thing we're going to do is remove this reed valve and replace it with an air injection or a pair block-off plate. These are 8mm bolts, so you're going to get an 8mm socket in here and remove this. So now that you've loosened these bolts up, pull those out. Don't let them fall behind this casing. This is just a beauty cover, but if they do fall back there, you can pull this off and get them out, no problem. You're going to lift this off, and you're going to put a plate over this little reed valve here. Here we have a set of our air injection system or pair system plates. I'm going to put this in over the reed valve. So now you're going to use the same bolts that you took out of here to bolt the AIS plate onto the top of the motor. Now you've installed the AIS plate over the reed valve on the rear cylinder. You're going to repeat this process for the front cylinder. And now we're going to install our velocity stack onto the throttle body. These velocity stacks include the screen, the set screws, and we include an Allen wrench to mount everything. And that is how you install a velocity stack on an EFI Honda Shadow in less than 17 seconds.